Hello! It is currently end of April here in Phoenix and the roses are doing really well right now. They look really pretty. And in this video I did want to share with you how my Easy Does It rose is doing. Um, it always looks really really good and in fact whenever I sit in front of it to film I get a lot of comments or questions asking what that rose is. So it is a really cute little orangey pinkish rose and I will go over how it's doing here in my Phoenix garden. So this is a week's rose. This is one of their easy to love roses. These roses are supposed to be very um, low maintenance, easy to care for and easy to love. So this rose is supposed to be fragrant, large, colorful clusters of mango, orange, peach, pink, and apricot blossoms, um, bouncing off of glossy green leaves on a rounded bushy plant. Uh, disease resistant, vigorous, flowerful, and fabulous. So that's what <laughs> Weeks says about this rose. Um, the color again is mango, peach, and apricot blend blend. Height and habitat is medium, rounded, and bushy. Uh, the bloom size is medium, large, doubled, ruffled, 25 to 30 petals. And the fragrance is moderately fruity. So that's the description that comes with the rose. Um, I would say it's fairly accurate, but I will just show you close up on mine how it does and how it looks here in Phoenix. So here's the Easy Does It rose. Um, you can see it's a big floribunda. It's blooming in really big, large clusters. And the color right now is kind of like a slight orange to pink. And the petals have like these ruffles on the edges of them giving it like a pom-pom look. And as it fades, it'll turn kind of like a lighter, a lighter color, almost white. And kind of in between um, blooming and fading, it turns like a little bit of a pink, pinkish color at the end. So this, this rose does turn quite a few different colors. In one little cluster, it makes it look very vibrant and poppy. They all kind of play off of one another. This is kind of like a younger bloom here. You can see it's more orange, definitely more orange the younger it is. So for me, this one when it gets warmer, we'll lose the orange color and it'll go more pink, pink to white. So typically I get this really nice orange color kind of in spring or late fall. And as it warms up, it, it does turn more of like a pinky sherbet, which is still pretty nice. Yeah, so like I said, the petals to this kind of are ridged, giving it kind of like a very ruffly look or very fun look. And the bloom sizes are kind of average. This one's been open a little longer, it's a bit bigger. The fragrance on this one is pretty light, I would say. It's not a very strong smelling rose, but it does have like a nice light fragrance. It kind of goes with like its nice, you know, ruffled petals, kind of like a fun fun rose with like a really just a nice lovely fragrance. So the growth pattern on this one and the shape is pretty, I think it's kind of shorter, a bit shorter. This is probably three and a half, four feet. Um, I did do a cut, hard cut back on it so this is its height after it was cut back. And it stays pretty much kind of in its place, um, maybe a little bushy but Overall, it's a pretty manageable rose. So if you wanted something, you know, that isn't going to get terribly big, this rose is probably a pretty good choice. So you can see this cluster, like I said, these are really big clusters, and then it is supported 
by a um, fairly sturdy cane down there that's um, grown up from kind of one of my, where I heard cut back, I cut back about here. So this cane is, is a very nice and very supportive for these clusters of blooms. So it's got pretty good structure. These roses don't really nod, they kind of are perky and make these little cute poof balls. The foliage is pretty green. I think it's a pretty good, almost darker green, um, almost glossy, so it's got good foliage on it. Thorns on this one aren't terrible. They're kind of spaced where you could maybe handle the rows and not get completely annihilated by the thorns. This one is one of the easy roses um, in, I believe, the Weeks line. So with that, it is supposed to be kind of like an easy to care for rose. So with that in mind, I do think it lives up to that kind of easy to care for type rose. I don't think it gets pests so bad. The rose next to it did have bugs on it, so I did end up spraying this one because the bugs had migrated. But you can see, I don't think even though it did have bugs on it for you know a period of time i don't really think it hindered the appearance of the blooms at all um, it still uh, did really good so you've got a bit more time to catch the bugs with these and it, maybe if you're lucky you don't have you know too many bugs in the yard i don't think they will gravitate towards this one and as far as doing well in the heat here in the summer i think it does very excellent like I said though, the orange it definitely loses this orange color into the summer um, and lightens up quite a bit. But otherwise, I do think that this is um, perfectly beautiful rose to be planting here in Phoenix. I think it would do very well for you if you are considering it in your garden. If this video was helpful, please do like and subscribe. Thank you.